Hey guys, it's Two Perfect Games, or Adam. Welcome back to the Pros and Cons series, and we are doing the final bow on Dryzen Draka, the Lightning Bow. And like always, we're going to be going over the pros and going over the cons for this bow. And this series was actually created by another YouTuber called Avery. If you guys want to check him out, there's a link in the description. But other than that, let's go ahead and get into this. So let's start off by talking about some of the pros for the Lightning Bow. And the first thing I have to say is this bow is absolutely the best bow on Dryzen Draka. The other bows are pretty good. This thing is a uh, borderline overpowered. Like it's it's absolutely amazing, and uh, it, it's the high round bow. So if you want to go for high rounds, this is definitely the bow you want to use. And the reason why it's so good for high rounds is because how many zombies it kills per shot. It has the attack lasts for a long time. Unlike some of the other bows, this can kill like 24 zombies per charge shot other bows cannot do that so that's why this is so good for going for the higher rounds also it is absolutely amazing for reviving other people because you can just shoot the charge shot that electric storm will kind of circle around you and it makes it incredibly easy to revive other players even when the panzer is there because when you when you shoot that charged shot that will actually uh, raise the panzer in the air for a couple of seconds and if you have quick revive uh, you'll be able to revive whoever is there so uh you know great for reviving great for camping great for high rounds and absolutely amazing for killing the panzer another good thing about the lightning bow is it's great for the keeper battle or the the easter egg boss fight at the very end because it is a lot of damage towards the keeper and it will kill the zombies really easily around you 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 know when you are actually trying to hit the keeper it's nice to have that lightning storm kind of circle around you and take care of all the zombies so they don't hit you it's also really good for taking out the panzer and again you know if someone goes down in that keeper fight it's going to make it a lot easier to revive them if someone has the lightning bow and besides that guys there really isn't much more to say about this lightning bow because you guys know how how good this thing is the, the only way to describe this bow is overpowered and, and I've mentioned that and this thing is probably the best weapon so far in Black Ops 3 Zombies it is that good it is that overpowered and it will literally take you to any round you want okay so let's go over some of the very few cons that the lightning bow has and uh, since this bow is so overpowered since it's so good if you go into a public match it's uh, nearly impossible to get the lightning bow because it's like a race to, for the lightning bow. It's actually kind of stressful trying to get the lightning bow in a public match because everybody knows how good this is and uh, everybody wants it. And uh, since it's so easy to upgrade, everybody knows how to upgrade the lightning bow. And uh, you pretty much, you shouldn't even try to go for this bow in a public match because it's just going to stress you out. Um, another thing is the single shot for this bow really isn't that effective i'm not sure when it stops becoming a one shot um but it is i think it's maybe around around 30 ish uh it doesn't really do anything after that just that single shot the charge shot of course is you know op as hell but that single shot doesn't do anything unlike some of the other bows where that single shot will pretty much do something for the entire game so I guess that's something that really isn't too good about this bow but other than that guys like I said there's there's not much to say about this bow it's great it's amazing best weapon in Black Ops 3 Zombies to this point and uh, it's not my personal favorite bow I said this about the wolf bow it's not my personal favorite bow but it is the most effective bow my favorite bow is a wolf bow but uh, this is definitely the most effective bow to use so anyways guys it is all for now if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a thumbs up and like always guys i will be seeing you in the next one peace out